Hi there, Simon from simonwoodston.com. Uh, I've got a couple of Chilean white wines in front of me. Uh, aromatic grape varieties is maybe the thread that's holding the two of them together. Uh, and uh, also they don't fit uh, too nicely into any of the other sets of wines that I've got sitting there on the samples pile going, it's time to taste me. Um, first one uh, is, uh, yeah, it's funny, it's a, I, I normally think of the, doing the heavy bottles uh, be, uh, after the lighter bottle. So the, the taller, heavier bottle um, is a De Martina uh, Musca 2013 Viejas Tinajas. Uh, and a, a tina, oh, so old uh, amphora. So this has been uh, uh, vinified in clay. Um, in these uh, old old amphora and uh, oh, well new amphora uh, but uh, in the old fashioned style uh, and o- often when people do that they'll leave their skin the skins of the grapes in with uh, uh, in with the uh, the juice I, I'm not sure whether they'll have done that with that can I tell from sometimes you can tell from the colour because uh, uh, the colour uh, yeah picks up picks up colour from the extra skin contact certainly when I look at this I don't see uh, too much. Uh, uh, you know, it's not one of those orange wines. Anyway, I better sniff it, hadn't I? And it's very muscat. It's got this um, uh, very heady, heavy grapiness uh, and a clay like. I don't know whether the I'm, I'm reading clay into the uh, the tinajas bit, but it feels like there is uh, this overtone of um, yeah, the ter- terracotta roof tile earthiness. Uh, that's uh, that's going in there on top of these uh, almost uh, yeah heady uh, the grapes and there's maybe a little bit of almost like gewurz like uh, rose petal scent here rich interesting um tangy um it's got these little flavors that come in and out so there's the yes there's the grapiness and then there's these more exotic things as i said the uh, the rose petal it feel, feels like there's tur- someone's dunk turkish delight in here uh, so there's the light cheese as well that um, see if it does feel like muscat meets uh, uh, meets gewurztraminer um but um, what i like about it is uh, there's a freshness and juiciness about it uh, I, I the thing I, I then notice when it get, comes to the finish there's what i call that ever so slight um hamster cagey uh, feel of a wine that's been done with uh, very little sulf- added sulfur and it just makes that finish maybe not as bright and as precise as I would like. I like the flavours but just that, that little bit on the finish uh, uh, causes a little bit of concern for me. But certainly interesting stuff for those who think chili is a bit dull. Uh, De Martino is a winery to look for wines that are certainly not dull. Uh, let's see whether Casa Silva is a winery that makes um, interesting wines. Now, this is the Casa Silva uh, Reserva Cuvée Colchagua Viognier 2013. Let's give this one a whirl. And I haven't sniffed the, uh, um, uh, the this wine yet. I'm, j- I'm just, just thinking about the feel I've got left in my mouth from that, that previous one. And it's starting to get that little bit of staleness in there. Uh, that I associate with that um, fresh-ish ham- hamster cage, not minging hamster cage, but just, yeah. Anyway, uh, back to this wine, give this one a sniff. And this is uh, much cleaner and um, not better for being cleaner. I, I find it, uh, it, it does feel a little bit uh, uh, formal after the previous one. Uh, so it's got some of the, the Viognier peachy nut kernel. Uh, it's also got lemon and lime jelly and it feels it feels OK rather than fine. Um, and uh, I think it's going to be maybe a little bit obvious. Yeah, rich, honest flavours. Classic Gewurztraminer. Gver- uh, Gver- Classic Viognier, uh, a little bit of spice, a little bit of van- vanilla that's from uh, the fruit rather than from uh, any any barrel aging. Actually, I don't know whether there's got any bits of barrel in there. I don't think it will have done. Um, but um, yeah, and and then this uh, this broad shouldered peachy fruit. Good honest wine, just a little bit. Um, yeah, I think it's not quite as wild as the De Martino. I think the De Martino is nearly very very good. I think it's uh, as it is at the moment. It's good. I would just like a, a little bit. Um, yeah, there's the there's the hands off approach, but uh, if you're getting things characters like that coming through on the finish, maybe I would uh, have a think and go, hmm, is that how I want it to come across? Hey, I like it anyway. I prefer it to the the Casa Silva, but the Casa Silva is okay, and uh, I'm um, I'm showing both of them to a set of people uh, this evening, and I'll be very interested to see the reaction. I imagine uh, it'll probably be a fifty fifty split. Because uh, some will like the more conventional style, some will like the slightly funkier style. Um, me, I'm funky. I'm a monkey. See you soon. <laughs>